We're in New Brunswick in Canada in the city of Moncton which is about 17 miles from the Bay of Fundy near the Hopewell Rock location and this is the Petticodiac River which many of the folks around here also call the Chocolate River because it's so muddy and it looks like chocolate. This river should be flowing from left to right and it is now. Down the hill would be from left to right and that's what the river is doing right now. So this is the proper flow of the river the but it's flowing. emptying itself. The uh, banks are much wider than the depth of the water would indicate. The reason that the river is so wide is because twice a day, every day, the high tide from the Bay of Fundy comes back at you. Uh, the Bay of Fundy has some of the highest tides, not some of the highest, the highest tide on earth, the difference between high tide and low tide. So every time there's a high tide at the bay, it produces a wave, a tidal wave, which we call a tidal bore here, that travels from the bay back up the river and it fills the river back up with water in the wrong direction basically. Here comes the tidal bore now. It's a wave that's so big and strong enough that people can actually surf on it. Strange thing about this wave though for a surfer is that it doesn't just exist for uh, a few hundred feet, it exists for miles. This wave has come 17 miles from the Bay of Fundy to this point. It's taken a couple of hours for it to happen. High tide at the bay uh, has happened uh, a couple of hours ago. And it's traveling in a straight line perpendicular to the um, river itself as it works its way up and it's going to fill this river back up again. Uh, as it passes, I'll be quiet so you can hear the roar. And it's coming in a straight line. And it's like an ocean wave, except see if it, splits. it just keeps going and going and going. And it oh. is just as aligned as it can possibly be with the river itself. And behind it is a wall of water coming from the bay. That wall of water is going to fill up the banks of this Petticodiac River to the point of virtually overflowing. And it's not going to take very long for it to happen the influx of water from the bay is going to fill up the banks of this river in about an hour and a half. I'll let this wave go another few feet and then I'm going to show you a time-lapse video of what happens in the next hour and a half. Actually I took this time-lapse a couple of days after the event that you just saw. So from 8.03 in the morning until 9.40 in the morning was all the time that it took for the river to reach the top of its banks to the point of just about overflowing. All that water coming straight from the Bay of Fundy. Salt water that will then flow back into the bay and the whole process starts all over again. How about that?